What's up, people? Sonic Swag Games here today. We're doing a tutorial on Scratch. If you guys don't know, if you guys don't know what this is, it's a pretty swaggy website. We make some sweet games. So, what we're gonna do right now is I already have the game ready. We're gonna make a beginner's game where basically this box is dropping out of the sky, and you do not want to get killed by them. And we're gonna have tons of good stuff, and you guys can do whatever you want with this. I'll be posting this. On my account, you can remix it, or you can just follow along. It's all good. Let's title it. Go up here. Let's call it Dodge the Bullets. Sounds like a fun game. All right. So let's get to it. So I think what we want to do first, just keep it a basic, is to make a backdrop for you beginners. So let's just make it like a, you know... If you want to just like take a backdrop from here in the library, just click on this button. But I'm going to draw my own real quick so it takes quicker. Select some colors. Just make just draw whatever you want. Pretty self-explanatory. That's my beautiful landscape right there. Make it a little dark. See, it's pretty easy. So, let's get to the coding. I'm sorry if I'm going too fast. I really want to just, this 10 minute recording limit, so, let me get the point. Let's make our character. So our character, it's going to be a super cool black dot. He's the bosses. Like I said, if you want to make a sprite that looks cooler, just click on that little choose sprite from library button. So, you want to get it to where we can move him around, right? So let's just say, when green flag clicked, show. And then we'll bring out some other events blocks. The one space key pressed. Pull down the drop down bar. Make them right and left. Make this make these boy go right and left. And let's just say change X by like ten. He'll be a super speedy person like me. You know Sonic, the speedy one. Let's test it. Good enough, right? Mm-hmm. So that was really, really easy. Let's just move on to the next sprite. I'm going to paint a new one. This is going to be our box. So I'm just going to make it like just a container like this. It's pretty fresh. This is going to be a bit more complicated, though. So let's bring out the when key, or when the green flag clicked. Let's make it show. What we're going to do is basically we're going to have it drop, hide, go back up to a different location, and drop. So let's start with a go to block. And let's just make it. Let's go to the operators and get some pick random blocks. And since it's only 240 across, we'll go from negative 240 to 240. So it goes to a completely random position. And actually, let's keep the Y as it is so it doesn't go anywhere. So then we're going to say repeat until. This is kind of complicated, but you can do it. Repeat until. Pull that block in. And then pull out touching. Sprite one. And let's actually rename it real quick to ball, just so it's a little easier to deal with. So wait and repeat until touching ball. And then what we're gonna do is literally just either change Y by this much, like oh negative ten. We don't want that to, like that. And then we're gonna say. Basically, we're going to say, just to make sure it checks, if touching ball, then stop all. And then we'll just, I guess, keep the thing going where it hides. And then we bring this down, delete that, and then it goes back to the same location. And then it'll show again. So basically, this should actually be our whole game, really. Oh, besides that fail part where it's not showing up because <laughs> it keeps hiding because I guess oh I see so change y by 10 and we want to do if this is complicated less pull out a less than operator pull out a y position block if y position is less than let's make it one negative 140 or no yeah, negative 100. Then we do that. You see how this works? It's kind of complicated. We're using some complicated blocks, but... Uh, 
Oh, we're having some glitches, guys. I guess it, let's go down to his Y position less than negative 82. I don't know what this glitch is, but sometimes when you make a sprite, yeah, when it's off center, it glitches. So pull it to the center. And then bring up the Y to like 90. And that should be it. Oh, game over. It's a pretty hard game, right? Maybe we should, maybe the beginning, like, make it wait a second. Like that. So chill it out. Alright. Save the game. Next time, I'll be making it way more advanced. This time, though, just a quick tutorial to kind of get you started on this Dodge Bullets game. Next time, we'll be adding game over, high scores, a bunch of cool extra hard stuff, more for intermediate players, build up to it, like, subscribe, kind of hope, like, hope you like this new kind of video. Um, also, this is kind of a new feature I can do where I can write stuff. So, subscribe. I can be one of those Khan Academy dudes. 1x equals... Let's teach you some algebra, too. 1x equals 1. Divide it all by 1. The 1's cancel. 1 divided by 1. x equals 1. And to graph that on a graph... I'm such a Khan Academy dude. Just make that 0. 1. Just fill that in. And let's also do, like, some sweet stuff. Anyway, subscribe! And like Sonic Spike Games, because it's the best. Sorry about getting distracted. Next time, we'll do some sweet tutorials. Bye.